Uh, Tom Stewart, as we just heard from Mitch Cleo to go before the tribunal tomorrow. Um, happy to get your thoughts on it. Where, where do you think it goes? It's interesting. Just the the detail that we can now unpack. You, you actually you nearly know what he's going to get it depending on okay, is it careless or is it deliberate or intentional? I mean, is yeah. it severe or is it high? When when uh, Mitch mentioned two weeks, I, I got to admit, like I thought, and mm, that just sounds like that's unders. Yeah. Like I think three is a minimum. Yeah. And I think it's likely to be three or four, depending on you know what, how the how it comes down, given the submissions of of Geelong and and, yeah. and Richmond. So without <clears throat> diving deep into it, I don't think it's careless. Like from what I saw, that was an intentional hit. Yeah. That's so right. would you would you be up four or five, or would you be up higher well, than that? However, it spits out. I said at the time it's a three, four, or five week penalty. So I don't know where it sits there or how it sits, but I don't, careless. I keep I, I settle when I, I even three feels, feels a little bit under. I settle on four. I settle on four, which is a month of footy, which is a which it's is a, a, footy, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a significant penalty. And there was a significant penalty for Richmond for, on the absolutely. weekend. Absolutely, and that was interesting. One of my one of the things that I that gleaned from that event was Tom Stewart actually handling the 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 action, the response from the action and how poor it was and still being able to push that to the side yeah. and go and perform. He did. But that I mean that's I'm sure the Richmond fans don't like hearing about that because they've got a player that they've they've lost yep. a player. There was a goal kicked whilst he was down on the ground. They lost the game by less than a goal the opposition get rewarded in mm. some sense for the, off the back of that action yeah. and because of that action. So a red card, are you a red card fan? No, I don't, no, 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 I'm not. Uh, what about, are you a fan of, I'm, this interests me, right? And I know Chris got alluded to this post game. This is what interests me the most. I'm not mm. a red card man either, mm. but next time Geelong play Richmond, Tom Stewart doesn't play as part of the penalty. Really? Jeez. Yeah, no. no, it's left field. It's a, it is a no really. Did, who mentioned that? Chris uh, Scott. Chris Scott mentioned that. Yeah, well, he's saying the hey, the team who's most penalised is Richmond. The team that's most benefited is North Melbourne. They, they play next week. Next week, yeah. So his point is exactly that: is it is the team that's been most penalised should be the one who are the beneficiary next time around. And what if it's a grand final? Yeah, I know all these issues need to be discussed. <laughs> well, but then you put a then you'd have to put a rating on it. You'd have to say like for like, so I mean, uh, yeah. in a home and away. Yeah, well, people, if you get suspended in a grand final, it's double penalty. Okay, so what if you if you um... so if it's a home and away, you go next time you play Richmond in a home and away, mm. no Tom Stewart. Okay, so Geelong play Richmond in this year's grand final, and the same thing happens. So next year they play in the grand final. Tom Stewart can't play in that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, let's get to our call. It's got plenty of them here. Pete's in Essendon. Go, Pete. Uh, good morning, Bucks and Gary. Yeah, look, just on the vision of that uh, Tom Stewart. Look, I was in I was in the lantern with the family, and uh, when we saw that, we didn't know what really happened, but we saw Prestia, um, you know, all days out, and we just had a sadness come over us. And one of my kids said, "Dad, I thought we were over this." I mean, and then. What made it worse was the game kept going. We were yelling out, "Stop the game at least!" Because you're putting the train and Dion in more of a worse situation. And I thought that um, look, I'm sure Tom Stewart's a nice guy, and he rang up, and it just doesn't wash. That is a thuggery act. And over to you, AFL, if you're really serious about this head high tackles and protecting the brand. Over to you, AFL. Yeah, good on you, Pete. Appreciate you call. Uh, you brought up a topic that I was going to talk about tonight. The, the fact the game didn't stop was, for me, one of the – well, it was mm. a really a bad look for, my, for mine. So at one stage, the ball was close enough that the ball got kicked over the head. And not only that, but – so he, it took him a good two – I would say two minutes. Maybe I'll put a clock on it for tonight. But whilst he was in the hands of the trainers and they didn't stop the game, they won down the Tigers – 17 v 18. And that's when, from a Richmond point of view, you just go to the umpire, hey, stretcher, stop the game, yeah, yeah. stop it. But they didn't, and they walked him off the ground, and Geelong kicked a goal while they, while they were doing all that. And the margin? Mm. Less than a goal. So, it's strange. So, Peter, you're exactly right. I did, don't know uh, why. Did Damien Hardwick have something to say about that? I don't know if he was asked about yeah. it, but uh, isn't it the doctor's 
I'm not put it on the Richmond doctors, but they're in there. He's in their hands, and it, the the shot that we got of him when his legs went from under him. That's when you just say, "Hey, ump, stop it right now." Yeah. And I know he wanted to walk off and all that stuff. Doesn't matter. Stop the game. Don't be a man down. At worst, plus the safety issue. And that that will be reviewed and seen as a as a wrong decision. Would well, it I'd, not? I'd, I'd to, like. I'd hope to so. have managed the the, the contest yeah, like that. I yeah, would hope so. Manage the situation. I can. I understand the emotion from Richmond supporters that you know don't care the fact that Tom Stewart's a good fellow and a good bloke, but. Yeah, Chris Scott will always go into bat for his player. That's what coaches do. There's no question about that. And yeah, no, I'm not surprised by Chris Scott's comments because he was basically saying that he'd put his hand up and he was owning it. And that's now that's a positive thing. If it was Toby Green, what would we be? What would the the uh, rhetoric and the narrative be? Yeah, it would well, be very different. Well, he's a recidivist, though. He is, and so there is a, there is history there, but. And and I suppose the point we're getting is that there's no history with Tom Stewart. In and there this was regard. one. Is he had one other little brain fade? I'll get the boys to check on it. But anyway, all those things that Jim said is right. If you're a Richmond fan, I absolutely get it. You go. I don't care whether he's the greatest bloke in the world. Our bloke's been knocked cold in a non-footy act, and it maybe cost us the game. And I don't care if Chris Scott says he's a. Son. Oh, I get all that. That's footy mm. and that's emotion. And um, so I understand where you come from, Jim. But. Um, he will get what he's given. I don't believe it. Oh, do I believe? Maybe Toby. Well, certainly the narrative around Toby would be different. No question about that. Mm. Would the suspension be different if it was Toby Green or, or Tom Stewart? I, th- I think it's nearly impossible to separate yourself from the narrative. So if it was if it was Toby or if it was, say you say Tom Stewart, who we see as, the, say, the good bloke clause that was just mentioned by Jim and a, and a, like a recidivist, I think you would, you would add – you would get an extra. I reckon you get an extra week, at, at least an extra week. And we'd, we'd, I think we'd all say that that's not right. That we don't want that to be the case. But I reckon it is because it's human nature. Gary, I was at the game, and the trainers and the docks of Richmond were waving frantically to stop the game. Um, it, well, I was doing the game as well, uh, and if they were, they weren't. There's three umpires. Your ability to get your message to three umpires should be there, and the fact that. It'll, that a stretcher didn't come onto the ground, Mm. to me, suggests that they didn't call for a stretcher. So, anyway, uh, they'll review it.